Yo. Uh, if your Samsung TV is turning itself off randomly and stuff all the time, and you're real mad at your TV, you've done everything you could, you've done all the forums you could, and they tell you weird stuff to take the batteries out of your remote and whatnot, don't listen to it. Don't blame Samsung. I like Samsung. They're a good company. It's not Samsung. It's not your TV. It's not the power supply. There's a setting. Um, like in 2013, or maybe earlier, they started, not just Samsung, like all major big HD TV brands, started this thing called HDMI CEC, which is where like your HDMI cable doesn't just project audio and video through it. This feature allows any HDMI devices to talk to one another and control one another. So your Xbox, cable box, whatever, could be controlling your TV at the click of a button, some weird signal it sends, who knows. If you play with it enough, you'll get it to work and you'll actually love the setting because you can like use one remote for everything. But if not, um, go first off, unplug all the HDMI cords from your TV. Unplug them all. That way nothing can control it. Once you've done that, turn your TV on. Using your Samsung remote or the remote that came with the TV, not your cable box remote. Turn your TV on with your TV's remote. Once you're on, go to like your settings. I'm not sure exactly where. Each TV is different. It's either going to be in settings, controls, settings, picture, HDMI, around that area. You see HDMI, settings, and controls, whatnot. There's, there could be two possible ones. One's going to be HDMI control. It's going to be one setting. It's going to be on or off. Turn it off. That's the thing that allows the devices to talk. Now, if you don't see one called HDMI control, there's going to be one called AnyNet. AnyNet is Samsung's brand of a standard control that a lot of t every TV has their own brand name for it. But if you use, if you see AnyNet anywhere in your settings, click on that. Click on AnyNet. <clears throat> turn off AnyNet and turn off your TV's auto off. Once you turned off the AnyNet settings, which means no HDMI devices can control one another now. Once you've done that, save it. I don't know if it's possible to save it or whatever. Back out of your menu. Plug your devices back up. Crank up your cable box, your Xbox, whatever you want to do, and you're good to go. And that's all there is to it. It's not the TV. I hope this helps.